Hey guys. All right. So I wanted to do a Facebook live video today. Hopefully got it set up. All right. Yes. Oh, there we go. I always hate when you go back to check and it's got like the picture and the picture and the picture and the picture and the picture. <laughs> kind of crazy, a little bit nuts looking. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're going to do the face, the illustrator face. So for those of you who took DES 103 already, you're probably familiar with this. For those of you who are in DES 103 right now, um, it's, it might be new to you. I'm actually gonna set this up as a watch party if I can, if it lets me in the graphic arts page. Doing the there we go. So hopefully I don't have my volume on. I'm also watching and doing at the same time. All right, awesome. So with that being said, let's um, let's get into it. So I'm going to open up or create a new document first. I'm just gonna do an eight and a half by 11 letter. I like to set this up with two artboards um, and I believe the assignment says that as well. So that way you can put the original on one artboard and put the other one on the other artboard. And I believe I'm just checking my watch party thing. Oh, yeah. That's all I had to do. Ah, no, there we go. All right. Facebook. It's kind of crazy. All right. So I have downloaded right now um, the, the face. I downloaded the female face. And then I also wanted to kind of show you how to do some, some custom hair. So I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt to um, do a side braid. And we'll just we'll see how it goes, right? So first I'm going to um, place that picture. Three, the JPEG. And place it right there. Make sure that you don't scale it at all. Just place it and move it, you know, somewhat to the middle of the page. Then you're going to go to your layers. And you want to make this a template, kind of like we did in week one. And you'll probably want to dim it to, you might want to dim it to 50%, but I'm not going to because I want to make sure I can get the, the shades right for, for the skin. Click OK. And then I'm going to work on layer two. And you can rename this as well to um, final artwork if you want. Perfect. So I like to start with the shape of the face first and then move on to putting, you know, the eyes together, the lips, the nose, all of that. And I am going to do the big face in the middle um, just because it's kind of my face shape, I guess. And because I want to add this part in, not the bun, but just this part in. And then I'm going to try to have a braid come down the side. And like I said, we'll see, we'll see how well I do with it. All right. So you guys, if you've ever watched a live video with me before, you probably know how I like to work. I like to do something crazy whenever I'm drawing on top of something else. I turn the fill color to nothing, and then I pick a crazy color for my background color. Um, something like hot pink where I know that that is definitely not the color of anything that I am drawing. Um, just so that way I can see my line work really well. Now for constructing the face, I'm going to use the pen tool for doing this and I want to get my basic um, basic outline done and I'll worry about adding in some of the details after. So I'm going to start um, up here. 
at this at this corner of the ear click and drag click not let go and drag click not let go and drag using my option key see how it goes from the pen to the upside down V grab that handle and move that down and remember you you don't need to be perfect 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 you just you know need to be as close as you can and again I'm not doing the chin because I'm just doing the whole outline right here and I'm gonna add in the details afterwards and try to use the least amount of points possible use those handles to really get that right and then because this is just the head that I'm drawing I'm actually going to just finish it kind of like this up in here and I'm not going to color anything in until it's done I don't like it you know to color it in I like to be able to see um, my line work now as far as the ears right here I'm going to use the curvature tool just kind of click click drag it from the middle and if you're finding that you're having a hard time kind of grabbing the anchors and not getting it stuck you know it's moving too far try to move in a little zoom in I find that that works really well and the chin right here I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna use the curvature tool go from one end to the other grab somewhere as close as I can get to the middle and add in that chin all right next I need to pick out some eyes and nose and some eyebrows and other things I'm gonna do the hair last because again I'm working my way from the back to the front so if I ever had on eye makeup I would probably pick these eyes but actually I'm gonna go with these eyes right here and we want to do the same thing that we've kind of done um, in week one we want to start to look at some of the basic shapes in Illustrator that make this up remember when you were doing either the cat the bear or the chick and you wanted to um, you know figure out all right is this a triangle is this a circle is this a square we're doing the same exact thing because everything kind of breaks down to just basic shapes so let's so let's get into these basic shapes and again it's going to be pixelated because you're working with a low res jpeg the more that you um that you zoom in so just kind of be aware of that and let's start to think of what shapes need to be built on top of on top of on top of so I'm actually going to start with this area of the eyelid right here I'm going to go over to my ellipses tool and I'm just going to draw a circle and I want to focus on where the edge of the line is going to be and then I'm only going to draw one Eye, and I'm going to show you a little trick after I finish that one eye. So I got my eyelid, and I'm just concentrating on the top, this top curve of the eyelid here. Next, I'm going to deal with the um, the white of the eye, making sure that I bring it up into the eyelash area here. Again, I gotta zoom out a little bit so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And if you find that your border is just a little bit too thick, even at one point, which can sometimes happen when you're dealing with, you know, really low res, um, bring it down to 0.25 in the stroke. Might make it a little bit easier to see what's going on back there. And so that was the white of the eye. Now I'm doing the um, brown part of the eye. Again, bringing it up. You'll notice I'm bringing it up into this eyelash area because I'm going to cover these parts of the circle with the, with the eyelashes after. And then I need the pupil of the eye. 
Let's expand it, make it a little bit wider. And then this little white of the eye right here. Great. Next, I'm going to add in my eyelashes. So there's a couple of different ways that you can um, add in the eyelashes. You can draw them with the pencil tool if you feel like you have a way steadier hand to do that. Just kind of start to free draw them on top. Try to do it in one shape like that. Actually, that came out pretty good. Um, or, and make sure it fills in, so just double check it. Or you can use the pen tool. So I'm going to actually, I'm, I'm really impressed that that came out as good as it did. So I'm going to leave that one there. And then I'm going to use the pen tool to do the bottom eyelash. It's kind of my white arrow. Fix that one a little. And then normally, I would tell you, um, you know, don't don't color the eyes in until, you know, everything in until the end. But honestly, it might be a little bit easier for you to, to flip this like we're going to with it colored in. So let's start with, even when we draw things, we start with what's in the background first. But when we color it in, let's start what's up front first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in the white of the eye and work my way back. So you want to select it with the, um, the black arrow tool, and then you can select the color from behind with the eyedropper tool. So I'm just going to go through and do that. There we go. And if you need to adjust your eye color, you can do that. So my eye color is a little bit greener than we got here. There we go with that. And then once you have that one eye down, I actually want to make this a little bit darker as well, both of these. So yeah, so once you got that one eye down, what you can do is with your black arrow, because again, you're not going to select this background because you've made it a template, draw a marquee around it and select everything, go up to object, transform, reflect, and press the copy button, and it's going to make a 90 degree vertical reflection of that first eye. And then just grab it, and as you're moving it, hold down the shift key once you've done it out of the way, so you know that they're both lined up. Now you get your two eyes right there. You can zoom out. All right, next I'm gonna do the eyebrows. So I'm thinking probably these ones, honestly. So for the eyebrows, I am going to use um, the pen tool. I think that that's going to be the easiest. And again, I'm going to flip it to be just the stroke, no fill. And again, once you get one, you can do the same thing. Object transform, reflect it. And copy it. Move that one over. All right, so I've got some eyes, I've got some eyebrows. Let's move on to some lips. I'm gonna do this one because I feel like I'm always talking. I'm sure you guys will say that. She's always talking. Or as my husband would say, she's always talking. <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't listening. You're always talking. You guys didn't hear that from me though. All right, so I'm gonna, again, I'm going to um, flip this one to the, um, 
to the border. I'm going to change my stroke to 0.25 so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm going to just go a little bit inside of the pink area here with my pen tool. You could also choose right here to use your rectangle tool and bring, bring that in. And I can kind of show you how to do that on the lips. And then I'm going to use the circle to do the little tongue right here. Bring it up, bring it a little bit down to where the lips go. And then with my white arrow tool, I'm going to select that path just right here and kind of bring it in. Give it a little bit more of an organic shape. All right, next I need to do the teeth. So again, I'm going to use the pen tool right here. And go a little bit into the lip area. So I've got my teeth, I've got the back of the mouth, I've got the tongue right here. Now I need to add those lips in on top. And this is where you might find using the polygon tool to make a triangle and then rounding the triangle might work. So I'm just going to click and change the number of sides to three. And bring that down a bit. I'm rotated 180 degrees in my properties panel. There you go. I knew it was going to do something weird, like send it all the way over here. Right. And then where you see that dot, that's where you're going to start to bring it in. and see if you can get it right. You might need to just adjust it as well with the white arrow tool. There we go. And just start to move the shape with the handles. Again, getting as close as you can. Just so it looks like you're kind of laughing. if you choose to do this one. And then sometimes you'll have to recheck it, you know, after you've started to color it in, just to make sure it still um, looks correct. So let's, let's check this. So we're gonna, again, work our way from the back to the front. Whoops, do the teeth first, so. And we'll, there we go. And, oh, I almost forgot one more thing. We need to make a copy of this shape once we get it. So that way. We have the just the lips. All right, so I'm gonna select this one and that copy that I've made. So holding down shift to select both of them. And you're going to want to go to your Pathfinder. If you don't have your Pathfinder tool open, go up to Window and find the Pathfinder tool. And the one that you're going to want to use is minus front. So I'm gonna do that. 
And then fill that in. And oh, I forgot to fill in this guy right there. And just bring bring the tongue down just a bit. So it looks like I'm over here yapping away. Oh, for anyone who's asking, yes, if you miss a lot, you can go back in and you can rewatch it from the beginning because I will re-share this live video when it's done. So you can always go back in and rewatch it. Not everybody catches it right from the beginning. All right, so next I'm gonna do my nose. Let's see. Probably this. I'm you know what? I can be I can have whatever nose I want, right? It's it's an illustrator nose. I mean it's probably this one, honestly. So I'll just do that one. Um so again. Kind of your choice on how you want to do it. Some people find drawing the nose, free drawing the nose with the pencil is the easiest way to do. So I'm just going to do it that way. And you'll notice there is usually a break in the nose. And I'm not going to color that one in yet. All right, next up, we've got hair. So like I had said, I had wanted to do the bangs like this, and I'm going to add those ones in, but then I'm going to bring everything over and start to construct it before I put in the rest of the hair. I just think it's going to be a little bit easier to do it that way. So I'm just going to add in these bangs just like this, like you see here. I'm going to use the pen tool for that. And I just want to click a little bit off of the ear. And click right in here. Bring this handle down. And right here, I'm just following the path of my ear that I already had. And if you want to change any of your other anchors, you can do that by just going to the white arrow tool and clicking anywhere, and it'll give you your anchors to fix it. I'm not super excited with this curve right here. All right, there we go. All right, so now I want to bring everything over into this artboard, and I want to start putting it together. So because I have this layer right here locked, I can do a Command A, and it's just going to grab all of my pieces, and I can just drag them over. So I've got my face, I've got my eyebrows, I've got my nose, everything's kind of out of proportion, though. So you may want to get your proportions correct over here by starting to build it on this face if you need to. Or you can try your luck at building it over here. It's really up to you. If you want to build it over here, it might be a little bit easier. So I'll show you very quickly how to do that. So you would drag your eyes over. I like to group them just so that way I know that when I'm scaling them, I'm keeping them together. So to, whoops, <laughs> in case if I do something like that. So to group them, it's Command G. Or you can go up to Object and Group right here. And then I want to scale them. So there's two different ways that you can scale. You can go to the Scale button and just start to drag and scale. Um, you, I should say there's three ways. You can go to the black arrow tool and you'll get that bounding box. Hold down Shift. Make sure you're always scaling things proportionally. Or you can go up to um, Object. Where is it? Object, look at the train or edit, transform. Object transform, there we go. Scale, and you can do it that way. 
So I've got my eyes in. Let's grab my nose. Again, I'm going to group those two parts of my nose. And I'm going to hold down shift. Just bring my nose in there. Grab my eyebrows. These ones I don't feel like, and yeah, I'm, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to group them. Hold down shift and start to scale them. Oops. And then I'm going to ungroup them after because I feel like you got to move them. And they're over. And then the mouth. And again, I'm going to group all of the pieces in the mouth so that way I make sure I have everything. Make it a little bit bigger. There she is, just yapping away. And now you can grab it and bring it over here. And once you get it over here, you can start to grab a color for the face. So I've selected the whole face area, and I'm going to go with um, this color. And then the little pieces, like the ears, the chin, and the nose, I'm going to do those just a little bit of a darker color whoops and make sure it stays on the border and you might need to adjust the stroke as well although that's kind of green let me do this color and then manually make it a little bit darker And then what I like to do is I like to round out these paths. So I'm going to select them, and I'm going to go to the stroke tool right here, bring the weight up probably to two, and then the cap, I want to round off the cap. Instead of having that square corner, round both of them off. Then maybe bring that one down just a little. Bring that one down just a little. And then the hair, we do the same color as the eyebrows, although both of them are a little bit dark, honestly. Again, just a little bit lighter. Maybe make those even just a little bit lighter so they stand out as two different things. All right, so next what I want to do is I want to add in a braid coming down and a shirt. So what I've done is I've actually, um, I took a screenshot of a picture of me from one of my live videos yesterday, and I'm going to try to draw that braid and possibly at least follow the shape of that shirt. So I want to go to File Place. Or actually, first what I want to do is I want to make a new layer in between the final artwork and the template layer. And I'm just going to call this um, shirt and hair. And do file place on there. So I just kind of, whoa, that got, that got weird. Hold on. All right, it looks right there. File. Export a JPEG, maybe? 
Maybe it just didn't like the PNG file. Who knows? There we go. And I'm gonna scale it down. So my head is the same size as her head. At least somewhat. Awesome. And I'm going to start the braid coming out of the ear just like it is here. So before I do that, I'll move that here and then I can still add in, you know, the shirt right here. So I'm going to lock this layer so I don't accidentally move it around while I'm doing this because that would be awful, right? All right, and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with two different shades of brown for that braid so you can see the different parts of the braid. And I'm kind of going to just go with a very simple shape, and I'm actually going to do it with the pencil tool. So let's go in. And... I'm just going to draw in and I'm going to overlap the face a little bit because I'm actually going to send it to, oh, I'm on the wrong path, on the wrong layer, aren't I? Yeah. There we go. I'm surprised it let me get that far without yelling at me that I was on the wrong layer. And just give it around. And do the same thing here. I'm going to overlap. Same thing here. I'm just going to overlap. Same thing here. And then this last one and overlap it. And then I've got the hair tie right here. So for the hair tie, I'm gonna just draw it in, the pencil tool. And I'm just gonna draw in the, the bottom part of the braid right here. And do this little part and then I'm going to overlap it with the hair tie and the reason why I overlapped it is I'm actually going to fill this in and then as I move my way up move each path to the front and then I'll grab the whole braid and move it to the back so I want to open up that those swatches so for the bottom part right here I'm going to go with the darker brown for my hair tie I'm gonna do maybe a purple, even though it isn't, take off the border and bring it to the front. So object, arrange, bring to the front. Then I'm going to grab this piece of hair and I'm gonna make it the same exact color as this one. I'm not going to bring this to the front, although I need to expand this hair tie up a little. This one I'm gonna just flip in and make it this shade and bring it to the front. This one is going to be the darker shade and then bring it to the front. This one is going to be the lighter shade, bring it to the front, and then this one's going to be the darker shade and bring it to the front. Then I wanna grab 
all of these pieces and actually I'm going to send it to the back. Behind the face. So it's kind of like a messy braid, which not for nothing is kind of like what's going on here. And I need to expand the neck a little bit, the bottom of the neck especially. So I'm going to my white arrow tool, I'm going to grab the bottom and I'm just going to pull it down. And I'm going to just kind of fudge the shoulders and the shirt around this. So I'm going to select everything and just kind of move, move it up. And I'll just kind of pretend, maybe, maybe even more. Maybe to like right here-ish. I gave her an extremely long neck. And I'm going to just kind of fudge the shirt around it. So again, whatever tool you think is going to be the easiest to make your shirt. I'm going to use the pen tool. And go back to my patented hot pink. I'm going to just start right here. And just kind of follow along. With the outline of the shirt. And for this assignment, you only needed to do shoulders and the shirt. So... You can kind of just bring it right across. And if, you know, you're not quite sure, just kind of guess where the shirt would be. Do something like that. And then I'm going to send this to the back. Or actually, hmm, hold on. Get rid of this line right here and actually have it come down in front of the neck. We're just we're just designing this on the fly over here. Perfect. All right. And I'm going to also add in some of the, um, this color here, like the shadow in. So to do that, I'm going to use the pencil tool. And I want to do it in one movement if I can. Just kind of like this. And again, this is just going to give it a little bit of depth. And then we can start to color this in. So I'm going to color this part in first with kind of that darker gray. And then the shirt white right here and then we'll turn off that layer and again bring our face and ponytail to the front so what I want to do or not the face though I want to bring this part to the front. So the easiest way for me to do that is to change my view to outline so I can see it. So I wanna grab this, 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 this and this, probably 
this one, but not this one. And I would say object, arrange, bring to front, and then change my view back to preview mode. And there we go. And then I can scale to fit the page a little bit better. So again, anytime you're scaling something, make sure that you're holding down shift. You want it to scale proportionally. And you may need to go back in and double check anything that was just line as well. So change the stroke and bring it up a little. And then you can add, add a whole background to the entire thing. So I'm gonna make one more layer and I'm gonna drag it underneath my final artwork layer. I'm gonna to go to my rectangle tool. And there's two different ways you can do this. You can just do, um, did I make this eight and a half by 11? Eight and a half by 11 rectangle. Move it in, make sure it's at zero, zero, eight and a half by 11, and it'll fill the whole background. And then you can color it in any color that you like. I kind of like this kind of purple color right there, but maybe that might be a little too dark. Maybe this hot pink. And there we go. We've got a face. In, in all honesty, I would probably add in my, my arms as well. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to add it so. With that being said, I'm gonna just draw them in and make them the same, same color. Do something like that. And then, make a copy and move this one over. Alrighty. So I hope you guys have fun with this.